What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Grand Junction, Colorado. Today I'm in the Redlands, which is a super crazy popular area here in Grand Junction, Colorado. And a lot of folks are looking to get into the Redlands. And because of that, of course, the Redlands is one of the most expensive areas in Grand Junction with a median home price of well over $600,000. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you about how you can realistically get into the Redlands, even though your budget might be a little bit lower than that. We're gonna do it right now. What is going on everybody? I'm Robert Hayes and along with my wife Christy and the rest of the team, we are the Hayes Home Group right here in gorgeous Grand Junction, Colorado. Hey, if you're brand spanking new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe, do the bell, all that good stuff so you're notified every single time we post new video. We're getting calls every day from folks looking to move out this way and we absolutely love it. So if that's you or you have any questions, about the Redlands. This is Redlands Mesa Golf Course Community or in Fruta out to the west over to Palisade out in the east wine country or any questions at all. Make sure that you reach out any way that you know how. That information popping up below. Reach out any way that you know how. Give us a call. Shoot us a text. Send us an email. Even send that dang carrier pigeon. We've got your back days, nights, weekends when moving out here to Grand Junction. All right guys so we're in Redlands Mesa Golf Course Community here in the Redlands, which is one of the premier neighborhoods in the Redlands. You've got those gorgeous monument views there in the background. You can see one of the fairways of the Redlands Mesa Golf Course right over there. Some guys are teeing off or in the middle of the fairway, I can't tell. But yeah, these homes here in Redlands Mesa Golf Course Community, they're gonna be starting point of 800 grand probably 850 more like it and it'll go up to you know 1.1 1.2 1.7 i've seen so if your budget isn't really going to allow for a home like that here in the redlands mesa golf course community there are plenty of other areas in the redlands that you can certainly get into for less now if you have a budget of one 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 two Maybe this is an option for you, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just not the surrounding that you're looking for at that price point and you want something a little bit different. Look at this gorgeous house right here. So again, in the Redlands in general, you've got a whole ton of options. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people might grab onto. We just finished a video a couple of days ago, actually a couple of weeks ago, I should say, where I told you you can get into the Redlands for under 450,000. Plenty of areas that you can do that here in the Redlands. Now, you're gonna obviously look at a home at that price point that's gonna be a little dated, right? 70s, 80s, some in the 90s. We've got plenty of folks here in the Redlands that are gonna be, you know, under that 450. Now, if you start getting into a budget where you're looking at you know, under 350, under 300, that is going to be a challenge because of the fact that if they do come up, number one, they might have a ton of work to do, which for a lot of folks, that's fine. Number two, they're gonna go super fast. So it's gonna be pretty difficult to get yourself into something under 350 that's a single family residence here in the Redlands. Now, a lot of times people are wondering, well, what if I am in a situation in life where I'm single or I'm in a situation where we're a little younger, our budgets may be under 300, but we don't have kiddos yet. There's certainly something that we'd like to down the road, have a family, but we just want the districts of all the schools in the Redlands. We want to be under that price point and we really don't need a single family home. We're okay with a town home or a condo. There are plenty of opportunity, even in the Redlands, to get yourself into a town home condo situation where you're not gonna have a big yard or anything along those lines, but you can definitely do it. Right down the hill from the Redlands Mesa Golf Course community is a little neighborhood called the Ridges. 
In fact, we had a client just reach out a couple days ago and they were looking for that exact scenario. They wanted to be in the Redlands, but they didn't want to have a single family. They just wanted that low maintenance, no maintenance lifestyle. So we pulled up a search for them and up came probably 15, 20 townhomes or condominiums in the Redlands and other areas, not just here in the ridges, but other parts of, of the Redlands area where you can have that condo or townhome living. And then once you get into one of those situations, what you'll do is you wait it out, right? I can't guarantee when you're gonna watch this video and I can't guarantee what rates are gonna be doing or what the market conditions are, but generally speaking, you can reasonably expect over time, two years, three years, five years, you're gonna have a different price for what you paid than what you paid for the house to begin with. And hopefully that price is gonna be higher. Again, over time, that's generally the case. So you can then use that leverage equity to go ahead and ramp up not necessarily here to the Redlands Mesa Golf Course community, but use that leverage equity to get into that single family in the fours and the fives. So again, in Redlands Mesa Golf Course community, that's the clubhouse right there. I mean, you've got a restaurant, you've got private security when you go on vacation, you've got those gorgeous Colorado National Monument views, you've got the Grand Mesa right there, you got the Book Cliffs, off to the north so this is the premier area of the redlands at least arguably the premier area of the redlands but if you're not looking for kind of that golf course community lifestyle there's canyon view which is in the redlands redlands in general is only about 11,000 people you've got canyon rim you've got independence ranch on the other side the north side of highway 340 we've highlighted that area as well so there's plenty of areas in the redlands that's not going to be 1.1, 1.2 million dollars. Now again, that median home price of over 600, you're still looking at in those areas that are close to the monument, you know, starting point's going to be seven. But if you're looking to wait it out for a few years, and willing to wait it out for a few years, and get yourself something, again, you're single, maybe you're, again, just starting out, you're married, but you have no kiddos, but you want to have the zip code and be in the Redlands, just get in the game, right? That is one way that you can do it, under 300,000. Now you wanna be a little careful when you get into those condo situations. Hey, it's 285, okay, what's the monthly HOA? That can certainly, again, start, uh, you know, you gotta start looking at that monthly payment with that monthly HOA, make sure it's still within your budget. But yes, you can get into the Redlands and do so, and then in a few years, do that ramp up with that leverage equity and get yourself something a little bigger. So that's how you crack the code. Now, let's say you're 250. You will be hard pressed to find anything. Townhome, condo, single family, of course, under 250 in the Redlands. So maybe what you do is you use that same strategy and get something maybe in the northeast part of town where the median home price is 280, 290,000, and you get yourself into a single family with a yard, and you do that for four, five, six years, because you never know if that might be the final stop for you, and that's just fine, but if it's not the final stop for you, and you do have that leverage equity during that uh, four, five, six year period, heck, maybe three years even, get out to the Redlands, use that leverage equity, and you're good to go. So a way to crack the code where if you don't have 800, 900, 1.3 million to be here in the Redlands Mesa golf course community, it's one way to do it. Just wait it out, use that leverage equity and then pull the trigger when the time is right. So I hope that helps guys, gives you an idea of how you can get into the Redlands area of town, enjoy these gorgeous surroundings, the gorgeous monument,
all the things that the Redlands has to offer. So again, guys, as much as we love doing these videos, we'd love nothing more than to absolutely crush your real estate goals and moving out this way, whether that's the Redlands or anywhere else in Grand Junction, make sure that you reach out any way that you know how. That information popping back up below, give us a phone call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even send the dang carrier pigeon. We've got your back days, nights, weekends when moving out here to Grand Junction. Until the next video, we'll catch you later.